day five of our trip and another beautiful Maldivian sunrise. A little bit of cloud around, but that's typical and normal. The sea is lovely. The conditions have been improving every single day. I'm looking forward to another two dives today. Well, for the first dive, we had a change of plan. There was too much current on our original site where we, so we decided, or Jessica decided, we would go back to Al Toro Tiller because we spent so much time with the mantis yesterday, we didn't actually see the whole site, which is a big, long, as you will see, string of blocks. So I was very happy to go back in. So we kind of started where we left off. Um, we did have a look at the first block, no mantis around, so off we went. There was a current and it was quite strange because the blocks have quite a distance between them in sand. You can't see the next block. Obviously, Jessica knows where they are. If the vis was good, of course, you could see them. Um, but you'd go and you'd be finning. You'd get to a block and then zoom along you'd go. Hey, Stevie. Hello. So, yeah, quite funny. It didn't make for good footage because you, ca you can't stay still. Did get some. One thing I have noticed, although there's a lot of fish around, there's none of the sort of what I call the medium to big size. You know what I mean? The oriental sweet lips, which you find a lot of in the Maldives in the central atolls that are all grouped at the big shoals of snapper. Yes, I did take some footage before, but it's you haven't got that intensity, those big groupers, those other big fish. Just look at some of my other Maldives videos, you'll know what I mean. That being said, it is still a very interesting sight. Unfortunately, the visibility wasn't good again. I mean, that's going to happen plankton season and a week of storms before, but it was a quite a pleasant dive. Nothing of note to see, but we did cover, I think, the whole site, which was interesting. So some of the footage is going to be pretty boring, but I am going to take you through the whole site. Right at the end, um, eagle-eyed Jessica and blind Brian, she saw some cobia, about three cobia, which are like mini sharks in many ways, sharks without the, the big fins. I didn't see them, therefore I didn't film them. But there is big stuff around. Um, Stevie saw some shark, I think, right at the start. But they're in and out quick, you, you, know, you couldn't film them. There were a lot of jacks on the dive, and there were a lot of glassfish. I mean, this is glassfish city. Um, so yeah, you'll see some nice footage of that. So yeah, nice dive. Um, you know I don't like doing the same site twice, but on this occasion, we didn't do the same site twice. We just finished it off. So I hope you enjoy the footage that's coming up. We had to change the plan because we're supposed to dive to another dive site, but now we have low tide and the current is uh, quite strong incoming. So we will visit uh, again the dive site uh, where we have been yesterday, also because yesterday we reach only the, the second pinnacle and then we stay with Manta. So today we will do the dive as we planned yesterday. Of course, if we will we'll see again Manta, then we will visit the dive site next time. Okay. <laughs> okay, folks, that's what I like about this boat. I mean, we had a plan. The cur current gods aren't with us and Jessica's come up with an alternative. We've been to the site before, but we've only been to part of it. So now we're going to do the whole site. Oceanic Manta. What a great dive crew.
Well, the next dive is going to be on Nelly Varu. Uh, more pinnacles, but more importantly, it's got three manta cleaning stations on the site. The current's still incoming, so it's 50 50 whether we see them or not. But Jessica's hopeful, I'm hopeful. But again, who cares? We're going diving. Um, we'll have finished diving fairly early today, two dives close together. I'm really enjoying just doing two dives. I tell you, at my age, you definitely appreciate it. We will do some three, di um, three dive days, but only if there's something special to see early in the morning. So this is it, diving wise for today. We'll be finished probably by two o'clock and then we can just chill. It's Steve's birthday, so I guess we'll be celebrating that. Don't know what, what's in store yet. Do but, some lion taming. Ah, uh, he's gonna do some lion taming. Lion being the beer <laughs> that's on the boat. So yeah, it's a lion taming evening this evening. Um, I don't think we'll be doing it three dives tomorrow and an early one at all. <laughs> so, see you after the second dive. Nelly Barutila, the second dive of the day. It's a very big pinnacle and very interesting because, uh, because there is a particular morphology. So one side, uh, we have a vertical wall with overhangs and takes. And the other side, uh, we have uh, just a 45 degrees pendants with a sandy area. And we have uh, two cleaning stations here on the sandy area, a big block at 15 meters, and then the other one is at 20, 22 meters. So in this uh, sandy bottom, we will find a lot of gardener eels. So it's also interesting if you want to put the camera there, and see if you can uh, feed them while they're coming out. We will jump here because the current is uh, still incoming. So we will be able to go first to the first corner here and then we will follow this side until we reach the other corner. In shallow water from 13 to 15 meters there are big coral formations with uh, lots of fish, all the anemones on top so we will spend some time there. And then when we reach this corner we have other big pinnacles with a lot of action, so with all the silver fish, uh, fishing years, jackfish hunting. Also here sometimes on the corner of the tila, which means uh, in uh, 14 meters, we can see some manta on the cleaning station, because also here we have uh, cleaning fish. We will see if uh, we can see some manta. And then if we will be able, we will do one part of the vertical loop. And then of course we will finish the dive, or drifting, uh, or on top of the tila. There are some clouds around. TV and Diane, first in, first dive.
beautiful site, but very big. And we covered the whole site, several big pinnacles, making it all the way to the vertical wall. In my opinion, we did it too quick. It's too big a site to do in one go because there's so much to focus on if you're a photographer or a videographer. Right from getting down on the, on the first sort of small pinnacle, um, I would have liked time to have filmed the sand eels, there are loads of them, but you need about 15 minutes to place the camera, go off, do some other stuff and come back. Unfortunately, that wasn't to be. I wanted to get some of the gobies and shrimp, but you know, Jessica's a great person, a great dive guide, and she's so enthusiastic, she wants to show you the whole um, site. But she did find me a beautiful flatworm, which you'll see in the footage. But yeah, a great site, and I guess it's the best way to dive it the first time, so you can scope it out, just figure out where you want to dive next time. We were greeted by an eagle way, ray on the way down. Didn't come in that close, but he, set, he hung around, so that was good. Um, I think it's um, juvenile sweet lips, you know, those colorful, you know, on edge fish. But I was, they just fascinate me, so I had to stop and, and get some footage of him. Um, a lot more fish on this site, even some big fish were around. Because of the speed we were going through the site, I didn't get as much footage as I, as I wanted, but I'm not complaining. It's a really, really good dive. Visibility also was really good on this site, and that, that's a function of the weather settling down, that's for sure. We had black tip shark, um, he skidded away quickly. What else was there then? Nothing else big, but just lots of stuff. You know, if, if you're into close up and macro, this is a great site for you to get involved with and dive several, several times. But just dive different parts of it. There's the pinnacles, there's the wall, there's the sand beds, um, which are teeming with life. Really enjoyed this dive. Doubt if we'll go back on it. This trip's too short, but put it on your to-do list if you come to Bar Atoll. So after the second dive, and after lunch, I went for a, a snooze. And while I was in my pit, so to speak, along came some dolphins. And Stevie and Diane jumped into the inflatable and went and film, filmed them. And as you can see, friendly, came in close, and I missed it. But that's life. But great footage, nevertheless. sunset. What a fabulous day we've had. Two really nice dives, very relaxed. I even got a siesta this afternoon. So yeah, another great day. See you all tomorrow.